Hi, this is Mark Friedman, and today I want to show you a quick tip on how to use linked records. What we're going to do is we're going to make a photo album so you can just add as many photos as you want and display them in the application using linked records. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to create the tables. So what we can do here is create two tables. One table will be called albums, and the other table is going to be called photos. So if we go to our albums, we can have an ID, which is just the album's ID, but we can give it a title too. So, title. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to link the records from the album, which is going to have one album, to as many photos as we want. So what we can do here is say, um, create a linked record. And this first label is going to be what we're going to call it here. So we'll call this photos. And then we're going to link it to the photos table, which is here. And then in the photos table, there's going to be a field called albums. And a single photo might be in multiple albums, uh, so we'll do a many-to-many -many relationship. But if it was just uh, the f photos could only be in one album, we'd do one-to-many. We're going to do many-to-many -many here. And, and that's basically it for this table. We're going to be able to create an album here, and it's going to show up in the photos. So if we go to the photos um, table, you'll see albums popped up. And here what we're going to do is we're actually going to give it an image. So this is going to be the image. And we can give it a, you know, a, a little caption too if we want to. And that's all we have to do on this side of things. Now we have our table set up and we're ready to make the app. So if we go to the apps and we'll just create a new app and we'll call it Photo Album. First thing we're going, to, we're going to want to do is connect our tables to it, just so we have them here. So let's connect these two tables. The first one's going to be albums, and the next one is going to be photos. Perfect. And then we're going to get record placeholders here, so current album, and then we will do current photo. Excellent. So now what we want to do here is, is basically allow us to create a new album and display albums that we have. So we'll put an interactive table here to show all of our albums. This is going to be a tulip table, and the table is going to be album. Placeholder will be current album. And what we might want to do here is give us the ability to create a new album on the fly. So we can put a button here, which is create new album. And all we're going to do here is create a record in that albums table. So create record. And what we'll do here is just very simply create or load record by expression. I always do a random string or almost always a random string here. And we'll put that into the current album. So now we've just created a new album. And then we probably want to give people the ability to change the title really easily. So I'm going to put a text box here. And this text box. I don't want to have to make a variable and pass it along, so I'm just going to make it a table record. It's going to be the album's title. And to display this, let's just display the the ID, I suppose. We'll display the, the, display the title, and how about the photos as well? So we can display all this. I'm going to move this down here instead. So now we can see all of our albums and what photos are inside of them. The next thing we're going to do is add photos. So once we have an album selected, and it's here and you know what I can do is I can just show you this out this thing working so far just so we can take a look at it so let me just switch over to this and what you'll see here is my album so I can just create a new album you can see that and here is my title and that's gonna automatically update this so we have this thing which creates albums no problem but what we want to do is we want to add photos to it so what I'm gonna do is um, put an input here which is a photo input And this is going to be a, I want this one to be a variable, so my image. And let's allow it to be camera or file upload. Perfect. And I'm going to go back to the other screen now so you can see me editing this. So I've added this image. And what I'd like to do here is basically allow us to upload an image to here and then store it to the photo album. So I'll put a button here and it'll say 
add to photo album. I'll just change this title really quickly to add to photo album. And what this is going to do is first I'm going to create a uh, create a, an image in that photos table. So create and add to album. So first thing we'll do is we'll create a new table record, create or load record by ID, uh, expression, random string. We're going to use that a lot into the current photo. And then let's just store that uh, variable, which is the image, into the table record, current photo, image. We could add a caption. I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll link this. So I'm going to link record. And the, what I'm going to link here is the album to the photo. So I'm going to link the current photos, albums, to the current album ID. So here what I'm doing is I'm basically saying what field do I want to use? I'm going to use the current photo albums and I'm going to link the ID of the album. But I could also just do it the opposite way and say album photos, photo, current photo, ID. So you can do it either direction. And what this is going to do is basically make that connection for us. So here what I can do is just do a quick little ch test. I'm going to make sure that the table record current album ID is not blank. Make sure someone has an album selected. And I'm also going to make sure that there's a photo here as well. And after I do that, um, what I might want to do is clear the photo from the variable. So I can do that. Data manipulation, clear, variable, my image. And, and that's all I need to do really to link these things. So if I put a, a another table here, let's look at the photos. These should be the photos in the album. So this is going to be my photo album, my photos table. And I can do something neat here, which is I can actually filter it to only be displaying those photos that are in the album. So I'll say the ID is in this album. Uh, or sorry. Uh, current albums photos. If the ID is in those photos, then it's going to show up here. And what I'll do is I'll just display the image here just so we can see what happens. So that's all that needs to happen here. If I were to go over to this and I were to, you know, upload a photo, let's, let's pick a, a picture here. Let's put a picture of calipers in. So I'll do that. If I add to the photo album, what we'll see is it's linked it and it did it again. It linked it and then it, I can now display it. And it also cleared it. So I can add another one here. Let's do uh, this one. And let's add that photo to the album. And if I were to create a new album by clicking here, we're not going to see any images in that album, but I will see them here. And that's how a photo album can work. Uh, there's a lot of other ways to do this in terms of workflow. Maybe you want people to you know, when I click on this image, maybe you want to populate the image here. There's a whole lot you could do, but this is just a very simple way of creating linked records. I can have as many relationships here as I want to. Um, so this is, this is kind of nice, and I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial.